today i want to talk about something that might be considered bike shedding uh bike shedding is this thing where you spend a lot of time mm-hmm. and energy on something that might be considered insignificant but it's still useful so the thing i want to talk about is related to folder structures so i have this thing where i have these components and i have a button component and a icon component now when your when your app is small and you have only a few components you might lay them out together like js files and i can do things like where from the button component i can import the icon component just by saying something like this right and this works now as time moves on your components might become a little more complicated you might be introducing documentation you might be writing tests and you want all of them to be nicely co-located in the component and then your code base kind of evolves and looks something like this right so you see that my components and now each one of them is more like a folder because i have the javascript file i also have some markdown file for doc- documentation i have a storybook file over here and then i can also add tests and things right over here so now when i have to include a icon from my button i write something like this i say import icon from i can go back and then i can say yes so this is perfect it works the only problem i have with this is that every time you change your folder structure you also have to go change where the thing is used so and to kind of get away from that especially the internal details of an icon you can do something like this where you say i'm going to only do import icon from icon this is slightly more flexible so the icon might exist at this path icon shares it can also exist on this path right and as long as you're not using both of these there isn't any problem So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename icon.js to index.js and now this is better. The tiny problem with this approach and this is why I call this whole episode bike shedding is that this thing makes it less searchable. When I'm searching for icon I get all of the other things instead of getting icon.js and I actually have to search for icon/index.js. Um not a super big problem but still like a inconvenience a quick side note here somebody tweeted at me that your code base should not depend on the tools or the ide you're using i think that's a silly point because if you're going to spend so much time with your tools and your code base you should optimize for it because you want to spend more time solving the problem and not searching which file to solve the problem So you should definitely take the time to optimize your dev experience. The way to get around this is you can keep the name icon.js plus create another file index.js where you import the icon from the previous file and you export it. That's all that this file is supposed to do. And now you get the best of both worlds. When you search for icon.js, you get your right file. and all of the implementation detail is kind of hidden away in the future if you decide to split icon into two different things like app icon and social icon like the share thing is you can actually modify this and say the icon now comes from app icon slash icon js and you wouldn't have to change anything in the button component So in addition to making it easy to search it also lets you create like a nice abstraction where the underlying definition can change um, but the place where you use it doesn't have to That's all I have today I make these videos 5 days a week I'm giving myself the weekend off so I'll see you tomorrow bye bye